fellow mobile gamers in today's video we are going to be taking a look at all of the buildings in warhammer 40,000 lost crusade because this is super important to any base building game is the buildings you are going to build now this game in particular is a little unique because you don't actually have to focus on building everything up in order to kind of get your town hall or city hall to the next level. So there are some buildings that you definitely want to upgrade and there are some buildings that are kind of not a priority you don't really need to worry about. So first things first, the most important one, obviously our town hall, our city hall, our battle barge right here. Your battle barge level will dictate the maximum level for all of your other buildings. As you do upgrade your battle bars, you will notice that you'll get fuel collecting speed and metal collecting speed. This will increase. This is for when you are out in the star map gathering those resources. Now, before you can actually upgrade your battle bars, the admin outpost right here kind of goes hand in hand with the battle bars because in order to upgrade the battle bars, you need to have this upgraded to the highest level as well. Once this is up to level 21, we can then upgrade our battle bars to 22 and then we'll have to go back and so on and so forth. Your maximum hero level will increase. As you see, mine is at 20. Our max hero level is 50 right now. It's gonna jump up a big ton. Once we hit 21, we're gonna go up five levels for our hero, which is very good. Uh, basic rescue count is seven that goes up once you get a little bit higher once we get to 24 it'll go up and then the deep rescue time will also decrease so that is good as well all right now let's look at some of the smaller buildings we have our basic things like our resource productions which is fuel the metal the adamadium atom and the plasma stuff like that now what i'm gonna suggest and it's different for everybody but what i personally suggest is you max out on the plasma and the atom because those are two of the hardest resources to get. They're kind of like the most expensive. Fuel and the metal are a little bit more easily obtainable, but my whole idea is when you upgrade your battle bars, remember that collecting speed for fuel and metal. There is no collecting speed for atom or for plasma for upgrading this. You need these, you need to have 10 of these maxed out as high level as you can. I personally suggest you wait, you try and get these to match the same level as your battle bar. So if you are at level 20, you're gonna wanna have all your medical facilities at level 20. Now, one thing I just forgot to mention is with the resource productions, you don't need to have these maxed out to match your battle bars. As you see, some of mine aren't even that high. I have some of them at, some of them are at 19, some of them are at like 18, 17. You don't need to worry about maxing those out because these are so insignificant. You wanna focus more on building up your army because that is what the heart and soul of the game is. It is a war game, so that is what it's all about. So the medical facilities are ridiculously important because it increases our hospital capacity. We're gonna do a whole video about war and all that stuff so we'll talk about that in another video but the hospital capacities are important because the more capacity you have the less troops you will actually lose another important building that you want to have at least 10 of and also matching your battle bars level is your vox amplifiers these are ridiculously important because if you had watched my last video, you you saw my joke where I joked about the training times being absolutely ridiculous. So you're gonna wanna have your Vox building as high as possible because you will get an increase in training speed, or I should say training reduction speed, whatever you wanna, however you wanna say it. So it will reduce the time that it takes to train your troops, and you'll also be able to train a few more. Is your research facility. You want to have this match your battle bars level because the research plays a huge role in this game between base development, resource production, and the most important one, military tech. If you go through and look, we got everything maxed out all the way as much as we can. Another building that is also important, and I mentioned this in my beginner's guide, is the astropathic relay. This one is also another building that you're gonna to wanna to have match your battle bars because as you level this up, remember the number of help responses will increase and your reinforcement limit. How many troops you can receive from your guildmates 
to help you through reinforcement. Now, some of the not so important buildings, and again, some people will argue and say they are important, but I'm personally don't think these ones are as important. The warehouse, the warehouse just kind of protects resources from when you get attacked really early on i mean this isn't too significant like i said if you have a strong enough army right if you're focusing on your army and building up your army and you're ridiculously strong no one's going to be able to really attack you so having this is completely useless because you're never going to get attacked they're never going to be able to attack you you're always going to win if you focus on your army apothecarian apothecarian i think that's how you say it, right this is uh this goes hand in hand with the medical facilities because what this does is it increases like your healing speed and your hospital capacity so this one again this one needs to match your battle barge level the navigator's quarters is an interesting building because it is really good but i think a lot of people kind of don't value it as much as they should the biggest push for this is you need these alliance communicators i personally think this is a phenomenal building and i think you should have this as high as you can this just increases your rally limit so you can take down those big whales i mean the rally limit is ridiculously important for army if you can have a giant rally it doesn't matter you know if you have t5 or t6 troops i mean when you're sending in 50,000 troops to, you know, they're gonna get demolished uh next up we have is the interceptor hanger i believe this one really isn't that important when you upgrade this all it does is really increase your max durability when you get attacked you'll start to burn and this little health icon will start to go down and you lose damage over time um, it explains the whole thing right here and basically when your green bar reaches zero it will randomly teleport you or warp jump you to a random location honestly somebody's gonna have to sit there and hit you for hours you know to lower this this is another building that really isn't that important i wouldn't worry about trying to match this building with your battle barge um and then right across from that we have the chapter headquarters this one though this one is very important and i highly suggest you match this one with your battle barge level because this will increase your army size limit so this will help you have more troops out when you are either attacking or gathering whatever it just increases your army march size um, another building we have is the auger arrays this is kind of just your warnings this gives you information some of these are like estimated battle boosts i mean they do help some of these do help in the later but i think like the first like 15 to 20 are the most important when it tells you like detailed number of other forces reinforcements defenders of each type like that stuff is important once you get this to level 20 the information that it gives kind of starts to slow down if you'll notice when we get to our next level we get no new features unlocked and then even like at 23 it kind of starts to skip every other level of no new features unlocked even though i know some people will think like it's a complete waste and they think it doesn't really do much I think this is a must like this is just going to help your survivability when you're getting attacked the numbers may seem low but i'm telling you it's just more defense right like would you rather not have it or would you rather have it and it may kill like an extra two or three hundred of your opponent's troops you know i want every edge i can get so any extra defense is gonna help me out i want it and then finally our last building to talk about is pretty much our army buildings they are as important as the battle bars you want to have these as high as your battle bars level because once you get to certain levels you unlock the higher tier troops remember at level five we get to tier twos 10 is the tier 3s, 15 the tier 4s. We are at 20, so we have T5 troops, which is amazing. And then as you upgrade them even more, it reduces that annoying training time. Remember, the training time is ridiculous in this game, so you want to make sure you upgrade these because look, you're like plus 16%, plus 17. But that is it for today, folks. I hope this helped you understand a little bit about the buildings and which ones are more important than others. I love you guys and girls. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.